German automaker Mercedes-Benz has signed an agreement under which mass deployment of humanoid robots Apollo from Aptronic will begin at the company's factories, which in the future could fully replace humans. The development of humanoid robots based on powerful artificial intelligence continues to gain momentum. NVIDIA has introduced a multimodal AI for the androids of the future. Recent research by scientists has shown evidence of AI acquiring human capabilities in multiple areas. Against this backdrop, the European Parliament has voted for an Artificial Intelligence Act, which prohibits the use of artificial intelligence with unacceptable risks and introduces regulations for less dangerous types of AI. These and other high-tech news in one video. German automaker Mercedes-Benz and humanoid robot developer Aptronic have announced an agreement to collaborate in exploring applications for advanced robotics in Mercedes-Benz production. Under the agreement, Mercedes-Benz is launching a pilot project to test the capabilities of the humanoid robot Apollo from Aptronic for various tasks in automobile production, such as delivering assembly kits to the production line while simultaneously checking components. Future plans include evaluating Apollo's abilities to deliver parts kits at later stages of the production process. According to the press release, the use of humanoid robots will help companies like Mercedes-Benz to deploy robotics optimized for working in human environments, allowing them to forego costly full-scale facility upgrades, primarily for robot use, rather than human use. The humanoid robot Apollo stands at 173 centimeters tall, weighs 73 kilograms, and has the ability to lift loads weighing up to 25 kilograms. It is designed to work in industrial spaces alongside humans. Additionally, Apollo's computational capabilities will enable the expansion of usage scenarios with the help of AI beyond its original purpose. The development of humanoid robots based on powerful artificial intelligence continues to gain momentum. NVIDIA has introduced a multimodal AI for the androids of the future. It is Groot Project, a multimodal artificial intelligence designed for humanoid robots. Robots based on Groot will be able to understand natural language and mimic movements by observing human actions, quickly learn coordination, dexterity, and other skills to interact with the real world and adapt easily. During his presentation at the GTC conference, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang demonstrated several humanoid robots powered by Groot performing various tasks, including those from Agility Robotics, Aptronic, Fourier Intelligence, and Unitree Robotics. To support the operation of complex models like Groot, NVIDIA has also developed the Jetson Thor computing platform specifically for humanoid robots. Meanwhile, OpenAI is also working on artificial intelligence for humanoid robots. Recently, robotics manufacturer Figure unveiled the first fruits of collaboration with OpenAI, agreements to develop next-generation artificial intelligence models for androids. In the video, Figure 01 demonstrates skills in interacting with people and the environment, describes what it does, engages in conversation, and also plans and executes tasks on its own. Recent studies have shown that AI research is entering a stage of exponential growth, and there is already evidence of AI acquiring human capabilities in several areas. This means that the hypothetical moment of so-called singularity in the development of neural networks is rapidly approaching. Moreover, humanity may create an artificial intelligence equal to itself in just about three years. Scientists see the potential transition from narrow AI to general AI in the creation of an infrastructure that will unite existing and new paradigms of artificial intelligence into one structure. If a system incorporating multiple narrow AIs representing various elements of human perception could function as a unified algorithm, it would essentially result in artificial intelligence equal to human intelligence. And if it were able to rewrite its own code, it could quickly transform into superintelligence. What do you think of this approach? And do you believe in the creation of general artificial intelligence in the near future? Researchers at Carnegie Mellon University have developed a system for teleoperating humanoid robots using a real-time camera. The algorithm recognizes the operator's movements using reinforcement learning, scalable retargeting, and extensive data sets of human motions. As a result, people can remotely control robots using a regular RGB camera without additional suits or sensors. It creates a kind of comprehensive motion simulator for the whole body. Thus, engineers propose training and smoothly transitioning to the real deployment of humanoid robots with zero training. Developers say that their method is suitable for dynamic movements such as walking and for simple tasks of grasping and moving objects. This significantly facilitates intuitive and dynamic interaction between humans and humanoid robots. 
the European Parliament has voted in favor of the Artificial Intelligence Act, which prohibits the use of artificial intelligence with unacceptable risks and introduces regulation for less dangerous types of AI. Under the new rules, the European Parliament prohibits certain applications of artificial intelligence that threaten the rights of citizens. This includes biometric categorization systems, a ban on extracting facial images from the internet or surveillance camera recordings to create facial recognition databases, emotional recognition in the workplace and schools, social scoring, and policing activities based solely on profiling individuals or their characteristics are also prohibited. Artificial intelligence that manipulates people's behavior or exploits their vulnerabilities is also banned. The legislation classifies artificial intelligence into four risk categories, unacceptable risk, high risk, limited risk, and minimal risk. High risk artificial intelligence systems will undergo strict scrutiny before they are released to the market. These requirements include adequate risk assessment and mitigation systems, registration of activities to ensure traceability of outcomes, human oversight measures, and others. Many future projects are associated with space. For example, the first space hotel by Above Space was supposed to open in 2027. Initially, its opening was planned for 2025, but a year ago, the company realized that they were falling slightly behind schedule. Actually, even by 2027, they were a bit overambitious, but the project is alive, and a series of tests is scheduled for this year. Now, about the project itself. There will actually be two hotels. The first one, Pioneer Station, is designed for just 28 very wealthy people. It is supposed to be operational by 2027. To make visitors more comfortable, artificial gravity will be simulated, and its force can be adjusted. The second project is more ambitious, Prometheus. The station is designed to accommodate 400 guests simultaneously. The company claims that the luxuries in this hotel can be purchased and lived in, rather than just booked. The rooms themselves, or rather the space villas, will have an area of 500 square meters, three bathrooms, and bedrooms for 16 guests. It's very difficult to imagine the cost of such a project. Whether these plans will ever be realized is a big question, especially since the company has not yet announced the presence of major investors. Nevertheless, Above Space will soon begin research on the International Space Station. The company will test the strength and durability of its patented materials. Samples will be attached to panels outside the station to test in harsh space conditions, whether they can withstand the harsh vacuum, solar radiation, extreme temperatures, and encounters with space debris. Earlier, the company announced successful tests of the Prometheus Orbital Propulsion Control System, which took place at NASA's Huntsville Space Flight Center. After two previous failures by SpaceX, Elon Musk's company succeeded in launching a prototype of the Starship rocket into Earth's orbit on March 14, 2024. Eventually, it is intended to carry astronauts to the moon, and then even further, to Mars. In the course of the previous two attempts on April 20th and November 18th of last year, the rockets exploded. This time, the launch from the spaceport near Boca Chica Beach, Texas, went off without incidents. All 33 engines of the Super Heavy booster of the giant 122-meter rocket worked flawlessly, after which it separated from the main part. SpaceX plans to test the opening and closing of the Starship payload bay to verify its ability to deliver satellites and other cargo into space. The company also intends to relaunch engines in space to conduct onboard tests, and then in the future, Starship spacecraft could refuel each other directly in orbit. It is expected that Starship will orbit half the Earth, after which it will decelerate in the atmosphere and freely fall into the Indian Ocean. Soft landing is a goal for future tests. We hope you found something new and interesting in this video. If so, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. Goodbye.